I'm Kate, the creator of the Small Things blog, doing these holiday hairstyle tutorials for realsimple.com. Um, this tutorial is going to be an all-up style. You can start with texture similar to mine, which I've just curled it with a one and a quarter inch barrel curling iron. Um, you can do it with straight hair, but I'd recommend having at least a little bit of bend around your ends so you'll have an easier time once we get to the end where we're placing kind of all of the curls into a mess on our head. Um, but try it with straight hair if you have straight hair, or on the opposite, if you have super curly hair, you'll be fine. You can do it with that texture as well. So my hair is parted to the side a little bit, and we're just going to continue that and do a part pretty much down the center of our head. doesn't have to be perfect, so just grab and separate the hair all the way down to your nape, and then pin your right side out of the way. So I'm just going to grab these kind of large duckbill clips. And this is just to keep the hair out of the way. Okay, and then on this side, we're going to end up doing a French braid. It's not going to be close to the front of our face. It's going to be more back here. Um, so start to kind of make sure it doesn't creep forward. Start at the back. You're naturally going to want to pull it forward. So try and be aware that you want it to stay back. So we're just going to do a French braid. If you need a tutorial on how to French braid, I have that on my blog. Just search my hair page. Once you get to about the level of your ear, just continue braiding all the way down and use a clear elastic to secure the braid in place. So you're left with the French braid right here, and then you still have that original section pinned off that you can now take out of the clips. So what we want to make sure we do with this style is cover up that first part that we put in. We don't want that to show at all. So we're going to start by pulling the hair over from the right side of the head and pinning it so you cover up that part in two sections, and then we'll grab it all into a bun on the side. So I'm just going to grab sort of the top layer of my hair, kind of in an arc section. Don't grab too much because you're going to have to fight with it. Just enough to where you can cover that part. And then we're just going to flip it sort of French twist style, close enough to that part, and then pin right there so we've covered up that part. Stick the bobby pins in vertically so you hold that hair very securely. Make sure the tips of your bobby pins aren't showing through. And once you have this first section finished, we're just going to grab another section of hair and pin right over it and sort of bring it closer to where your braid ends on your left side. All of these bobby pins will be covered up so it doesn't matter if these ones show. So here's where we're at for now. We have that first section, kind of mess up the hair with your fingers so you don't have any gaps, and then that second section that just pulled all the way over. And then we're going to grab all of this hair and kind of pin it to our head right here so you can hide those original pins. So the easiest way to manage hair like this is to put it in a clear elastic and then pin from there. If you have shorter hair, just grab it and start pinning it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You, in fact, don't really have to think about it or plan anything. Just grab and pin. Um, so I'm going to show you how to work with longer hair. We're just going to pull it into a ponytail. And then to make sure we have a lot of fullness, we're going to tease that a little bit. And if you're elastic from your braid, 
is lower than that new ponytail you just put in, go ahead and pull that out. Your braid won't come out because you just put a second elastic around it. So just do a little rough teasing to add fullness. So you can see that added bulk and that will be good to lock the pins into place. And then all we're going to do is just start grabbing sort of the middle part of your hair, putting a pin in it, and then sticking it into your hair. The teasing won't show once you get it all pinned, so just don't worry about that. So start by kind of getting it all in there and then just continue to pin and grab whatever sections you need to that are kind of hanging loose. Okay, so once you've pinned everything and sort of tightened it up from that original sort of bushy section that you had down there, um, you should be all set. You can kind of fine tune if you want to and smooth it out and kind of make it more of a perfect bun, or you can leave it a little bit messier like I did. Um, and then just make sure you don't have any parts left on this side and that you can't see that first part that you put in when you were braiding the hair. So this is a little bit dressier. If you wanted to, you could leave some hair down around your face if you like it a little bit softer, um, but great for like a dress or something where you want to show your neck off or your jewelry. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this holiday hair tutorial, um, and be sure to check the Small Things blog if you want to see any other hair tutorials and the other hair tutorials on realsimple.com.